The whole uh, definition of an upfront is for the, the for brands to be able to invest in some real estate in advance because it's to their advantage, right? So that's typically there's typically scarcity in in the past um, and and current situation with the broadcasters. The scarcity would come around a program or a, a hit series. With us, the scarcity comes around an attribute. Our addressable TV business has been in the marketplace for over four years. Um, and we've got a ton of adoptions in certain categories like automotive where all but three are using the product. You can imagine that there's scarcity for the attribute. What I mean by that is at any given time, you know, only three to four percent of the population is in market for a vehicle. It's a very coveted audience. So in that particular category, it might be advantageous to invest in that audience, that coveted audience, and that real estate in advance. So that's one reason why we're having uh, having this upfront this year. It's an organic reason. So. What's the reception like, and um, you know, are people, are the TV buyers sold on Addressable, or are there new brands that you're trying to bring in? Obviously, new new verticals, um, mm -hmm. and you're in the middle of this sort of mini upfront uh, marathon. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what's the pitch, and what do you hope to accomplish? It's not really a pitch, frankly, Andy. What we're trying to do is educate. You know, we look at our role as as more consultants, right? This. This addressable product is very consultive, right? We, uh, we work with brands and agencies to help define the target. Uh, and you know, we're working with them to optimize and uh, to prove out real life outcomes like sales or website visitation. Um, and when you do that, you gotta get to the best practices, to the optimal frequency that's yielding the best buy rates. And it's very consultive. So what we're doing this year is we're doing 100 upfronts. We're kind of halfway through it now. Um, and it's, the reception has been really great because we haven't been pitching. We've been really showing case studies. What are the most common attributes that the certain vertical is using? Literally, we'll customize for each, each uh, presentation. Typically, each presentation is around one or two verticals. I just did one with, with auto and finance. And we walk through case studies or the best practices. Uh, what, are the, what are we seeing some of the results? What happened when it didn't work? Why didn't it work? And how do you optimize for the renewal? So it's very much about education more so than, than, than pitching. Each category is different, right? And there's a lot of factors. Uh, for a category like finance or auto insurance or auto, converting a viewer to a customer has a long-term value that's very significant. So they'll pay a premium to cut out the waste associated with television about using the addressable TV product and just message to their, to their, uh, to their most relevant audience. And you got a category like CPG where the value of converting a viewer to a customer might only mean you know three or four dollars. And so in terms of the product, uh, pr the price of the product might have a shorter life cycle. And so all those things factor into price. So our, you know, our, our rate card, so to speak, is not a traditional rate card. It's based off of vertical and the type of product within each vertical and the value to convert them to. JB, you, you've been uh, preaching the uh, direct, uh, yeah, you know, addressable TV now for four years. Um, how do you kind of gauge the attitude of the media buying community now versus maybe last year? Yeah. I mean, has it changed much? And yeah, it has. It really has. It's been it's been nice to see. I think we're at a place now where, in the TV, TV ecosystem, with the reduced ratings and cable, where all vendors are trying to figure out their data stack and the technology needed to optimize their inventory, and agencies now have at their arsenal better data to be able to measure the TV marketplace. Um, at the top of that pyramid is addressable TV because it eliminates waste. And the buying community is very interested in, in understanding how to activate this year. It's more than just educating them. It's how to activate it this year. There's enough traction in the marketplace. The benefits are, are the benefits um, have, are out in the marketplace. You know, there's a ton of case studies. Uh, it's proven, it's beyond testing. And so, you know, agencies and buyers, they, they want to learn. They want to do good things for their clients, and they know that addressable, it, it, addressable works.